Sony Mustavar comes back in after not playing at all for Haiti, but it's a tactical adjustment. Benny Fellhaber is going to be a six. He's going to sit deeper. He's going to protect that back four. Mustavar is going to be a box-to-box -box midfielder, while Roger Espinosa tonight becomes the playmaker, but keep an eye on Madranda on that left-hand side. Noah and Acosta sit in front of that back four, but keep an eye on Fabian Castillo on the left-hand side. Michael Barrios returns from injury on that right-hand side, and up top tonight, alongside Yeruti, Tesho Akindeli gets the start. Size, strength, along with the pace. Now a run from Akindele. Oh, a little bit of confusion. Camellia keep it out. He can't. That went over the line. Oh, and would you believe it? The assistant has not given it. We clearly saw that go over the line. Wow. This ball's touched back. Melio is trying to make himself an option. Watch the hitch right there. That ball absolutely crosses the line. FC Dallas should be up 1 0. You watch the touch back from Olam. And Melia was trying to make himself available, just thinking. And Castillo has picked this off. Maybe Dallas are going to profit anyway. Castillo for Dallas lays it off. Barrios! One save. Castillo might force another yet. But it's offside, and the chance goes astray. And it makes this team much more athletic. Now then. This is Hallisey, that's clever. Peterson is in the clear here. Can he do it for Sporting? No, he can't. Chris Sykes to the rescue. Was that handball? No. Peterson again. It's Benny Failhaber. The flick on is in. And Sporting have the breakthrough. It's Ike Apara who's done it. No, it wasn't. It was Lawrence Olam. It was at the right end. Well, he gets himself back onside and if there is a touch, he's going to claim it. He started in an offside position. He got himself back onside, level with the defense. Good run from Fail Harbor. Was he clipped? He was. Penalty to Sporting. Benny Fail Harbor wins it. And all of a sudden, it's going horribly wrong for FC Dallas. Clear some yards as it comes across. Yeah, it looks like Tiba. Atiba leaves the right foot in, Fellhaber feels the pressure, goes down underneath. No hesitation for the referee. Fellhaber against Seitz. Fellhaber takes it and makes it. And Sporting Kansas City in the space of three minutes here. Referee points to the spot, no hesitation. Fellhaber stutter, Seitz to his right, ball goes to his left. And you go back to the ball that crosses the line. Turns the corner. Scored against uh, Sporting, didn't he, in the playoffs last year for Portland. Big goal that was. Kept the Timbers' season alive. Acosta, free header. Wasn't on target, and neither was the follow-up. First Ecuadoran ever to score in the German Bundesliga as well. Carlos Guerrero as the cross comes in. Away from Ellis. Oh, it's fucked towards goal. Uh, and it's something in the run of play. Very, very difficult to convey from the coaching staff to the players. Now then, that's a good-looking ball. Oh, the header from Zimmerman. And that kind of sums up in one moment how the second half has been for FC Dallas. As uh, full-time is reached. And that relief for Sporting Kansas City. Only their sixth win of the season, only their second in their last 12.